Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm using a different camera. It feels like it's a little more HD. I don't know, is it just me? I feel like if you zoom in, you can really, really see. Okay, you don't have to zoom in that much. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I have a podcast out and new episodes are out every Wednesday. It's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and on YouTube. If you want to check it out, the link will be in my description. It's called Outspoken by Sam Collins. You can just search it on your platforms. So I'm sorry that I'm back so soon with a Bring Back Manly Men-esque video, but Candace Owens has just absolutely made herself look like a fool. But Candace, I'm a guy. Why can't I just wear a dress? The last video I made, a lot of people liked it. And so, you know, if you've been keeping up with it, this political commentator, Candace Owens, she made a statement about Harry Styles wearing a dress on the Vogue magazine, right? She said, bring back manly men, you know, because he's wearing a dress and it's such a bad thing. Since then, Harry Styles responded to what Candace Owens has said about him wearing the dress. <laughs> and it says, uh, bring back manly men. My favorite part about this, and I don't know if it was on purpose, but it, it's him eating a banana. And I just, I thought it was golden. No pun intended. So anyways, this is what Candace Owens had to respond to that. When people try to tell me I don't have influence and then at Harry Styles dedicates an entire post to my tweet. <laughs> I inspire global conversation. Hashtag bring back manly men. Shots fired. Like you, you inspire global conversation. No, you just make people mad globally. You're not any, you're not inspiration at all. You're actually very mean. You know, to me, it seems that she was very excited about this notice. It's kind of almost as if she's a fan. Candace, do you like men in dresses? Is that your, is that your weakness? She then tweeted this picture, bring back manly men, with a picture of Harry Styles on a set of a film, you know, because having dirt on your face is the manliest thing you could ever do. All right, so then this tweet right here, this person said, she sounds like a fan. Unfortunately, her hateful comments are inspiring violence against gender non-conforming people, and it is atrocious. Atrocious. This isn't something to be proud of at Candace Owens. It isn't a discussion when people's safety and lives are put at risk. So then she replied and said, The left is literally trying to claim the expression, bring back manly men, is an act of violence. Ha 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 ha. You need your head checked. Buddy. So this is my favorite thing because she thinks she's so clever. The reality of it is, is that people are going to get comfortable with saying things like you are. This is going to make men who want to be in touch with their feminine side scared to do it because they know it's going to come. It's people like you and, you know, men who do feminine things or want to wear what they want to wear could literally get attacked in the streets for it too because people like you hate it so much. And it's just like, do you have anything else better to complain about than what a grown man is choosing to wear? So the last tweet before we get into these videos, and this one, <laughs> I just gotta read it, all right? Women who objectify themselves by spreading their legs for the world are lauded as courageous. Men in ball gowns and little girls clothing are lauded as icons. Hollywood is no longer about diversity. It's about perversity. I speak for people who do not worship perversity. The thing about this tweet was like, what is what is little girls clothing have to do with any of this? Like Harry Styles was not wearing little girls clothing. I just honestly didn't know what men in ball gowns had to do with little girl's clothing. So, you know, after all this happened, she decided to go on Instagram and post on her story this video. But Candace, I'm a guy. Why can't I just wear a dress? Because you can't, okay? You can't. That's a really good rebuttal. That's like award winning. Because you can't. You said that they can't do it, but I mean they can. Like, I could go do that right now if I wanted to. That video doesn't stop me. Do you think you really have that much influence over somebody who wants to like wear what they want to wear? Oh, okay. Oh, Candace Owens said I can't. Oh my God, I better not. Like, okay. But I just want to express myself in little girl clothing. You can't. You're just, you're not allowed to. Again, who is wearing little girl's clothing? This is what these people do. Like, I feel like she just took a straw man right there and then she's claiming that they want to wear little girl's clothing but that's not what anybody was discussing a ball gown it is not a, a little girl's clothing so this next video that she posted is actually eight minutes long i haven't really watched much of candace owens you know because i just really i would rather not and in this video it was an abomination like this was probably one of the most unintelligent yep <laughs> this was probably one of the most unintelligent this makes my point look really good. This was one of the most unintelligent videos that I've ever seen. And I say that from my heart, I really do. All right, guys, 
bring back manly men who would have thought that that would have caused an absolute firestorm something as basic um as saying that men are good for our society causes a firestorm okay obviously men have done great things men who are manly have done great things and men who are not so manly have done great things nobody said they haven't done great things of course, on the left, because the left hates anything normal. Basically, if there is anything that looks remotely normal, the left sees it and they want to tear it down. They just cannot stand the idea that things are functioning and things are working and things are normal. I think that's actually the total opposite. When people on the right see something that they don't agree with, they want to tear it down and bring it back to, you know, like the 1920s. And I also love how she classifies everybody who disagrees with her as the left, because I'm sure there's plenty of people on the right who disagree with her and who could care less about Harry Styles wearing a dress. But a man wearing a dress. Now, first off, let me just clarify something. When I originally tweeted about this, this was not an attack on Harry Styles. He happened to be the man in the dress, but really it was more of an attack on Vogue and the culture in general that is trying to shove this down our throats, right? This turning women into men and turning men into women has been the, the move on the left as of late. Oh my God, here we go with the shoving it down the throats. Yes, we are shoving so much stuff down your throat by putting it in a cover of a magazine. You know, showing anything LGBT or non-conforming publicly isn't shoving it down your throat. It's just showing representation, you know, so people can feel more comfortable and more included because the world has been so non-inclusive for years and years. And it's nice to see a gay couple or it's nice to see somebody who doesn't conform because other people might want to do the same thing and they might be too scared because there's bullies on the internet like you. There's bullies who run the country like Donald Trump. Not for long though, because he lost. But people get scared for their life because of people like you who care so much about what they do. And it's like, do you have anything else to worry about? Nobody's coming up to you with a Vogue magazine putting it in your face. All you have to do is mute it. And you can even mute it digitally. So you don't even have to see it. If it bothers you that much, if it makes your day that much worse, you don't even have to see it. Just mute. Is that easy? Right? Women should want to go to work. You don't need a man. Shave your head. Dye it pink. Make yourself ugly, right? Because that's feminism and that's power and that sticks it to the patriarchy. Okay, weirdo. How is dyeing your hair a different color or shaving it making you ugly? Also, what's wrong with women wanting to go to work? Women have aspirations too. Women have goals too. Women want to get houses. They want to have an income. Do you think they just want to do nothing? Again, do we live in like 1910? The world changes as things grow. I don't know if you know that, but we don't stay stuck in one decade or one century because things evolve. I feel like I'm teaching a, a third grade class. Things change and they grow. So naturally that's going to happen. Women don't wanna to have to depend on somebody for their well being. A lot of women wanna be independent. And I think that's a really great thing. Men put on a ball gown, right? And, and strut on Vogue because somehow that shows that you're not normal and that's really empowering and forward. And quite frankly, I do not find men in dresses to be attractive. Okay, she totally steered away from her original point, which makes no sense. She was saying how he did it to be empowering and whatever. And then she just talked about how unattractive it was. So is she admitting that it is empowering and that it does change things? Because she had absolutely nothing to say about that after the fact. Just the fact that she doesn't like it. Women do not find men in dresses to be attractive. Do not believe women that are sitting here telling you, oh, I would love for my man to wear a gown on our wedding day. It's just not true. That's just woke leftist feminists and typically people that follow, follow Hollywood trends. I hate to pause it so much, but again, there she goes with her straw man tactic. Nobody is sitting here saying, I would love for my husband to wear a ball gown on our wedding day. I haven't seen that anywhere. And it's like, that's not the point of the photo shoot. And also, who cares if the man wore a ball gown at the wedding? Are you getting married to the man in the fucking ball gown? No. So they want you to think that they're these little demigods. So suddenly, Harry Styles was on a dress and that's just what everybody should be doing, right? Or, oh, this is powerful. Quite frankly, you know, from people who don't play the Hollywood game and live in the hills, if I see a man in a dress, I think he's a crackhead, period, right? If you see that stuff, if you live in the projects, if you live on the streets and you see somebody wearing a man wearing a dress, you assume that they have mental issues. I've been to a lot of places and I've seen a lot of homeless people and I've seen a lot of drug addicts and crackheads, whatever, in the streets. And I have never seen a man in a dress as a crackhead walking down the street. 
Like, I feel like that's a an uncommon sight. And even if the crackhead was wearing a dress, I wouldn't think he's a crackhead because of the dress. I would think he's a crackhead because of his mannerisms. Because you could tell when somebody's on drugs. It's just like, her points are so stupid. It, it is so easy to appeal to stupid people. So I get why she has a big audience. I, I don't need to be woke to pretend that this sort of stuff is normal. It's not normal. It's completely not normal. Uh, you know, for, for to, to feminize men and to keep pretending that this is progressive. It's not progressive. I said what I meant. There is no society that can survive without strong men. Well, the USA did survive the last four years with Donald Trump in office. So technically we can survive without strong men. Men, the role of men is to defend, it's the role to protect. So all of you men who are sending me pictures of you in a dress and saying, oh, I'm still a man or I'm still a manly man, I am not calling on you when there's a world war. I am not calling on you when I'm in an emergency, okay? Okay, well, you don't make the calls during the world war. There's actually something called a draft and it doesn't matter if you wear a dress or not. You're still gonna get called into the draft to war if you are eligible. And actually wearing a dress doesn't exempt you from going into war. So, you know, those men in dresses, they might actually be going to war for you, Candace. So, you know, oh, better watch out. They might just not be as strong as the men who go cut wood all day. You can wear your dresses. Uh, nobody has sat here and said, if you're a man in a dress, something bad should happen to you. I don't believe that. I believe people should live and do as they want, but I think it is wrong for our society to keep perverting things. All right, everything she just said is contradictory and had nothing to do with, like none of those things related. First she said there's nothing wrong with it. Then she said you can live and do what you want. But then she says it's wrong for society to keep perverting things. What are you, like did you take a big hit before you made this video? Because that doesn't make any sense. People sitting here talking about, oh masculinity means you want men to beat you. Like the dichotomy between wearing a dress like, if you don't wear a dress, that means that you beat women. It's completely crazy. Here is another straw man that she's using. If you don't wear a dress, you beat women. That is not what people are saying. Like, I, I just... It, you know, it's concerning that she has a platform as big as she does, but it is very easy to appeal to stupid people because I found this video extremely unintelligent, but stupid people don't see that. So they'll consume her content and be like, this is some good shit. She makes some good points. But in reality, she's making absolutely shit points. They have nothing to do with each other. You know, that's why I'm so appealing to you guys. That's why it's so easy to like me. I'm just kidding. It's completely crazy. Let men be masculine. I like men that protect women, okay? Does that mean you beat women? You're sitting here glorifying people like Cardi B who are telling you it's, it's to put your on the floor. Okay. What? Put your is on the floor. What? Right? And, and, and talk about what you can do with men behind closed doors. You know, in a lot of music, men talk about sex too, right? They say the most explicit things. But as soon as a woman does it, it's like the worst thing in the world. Why is it okay for men to talk about that, but women can't sing one song about it? Can, women can't like sex too. They can't sing about sex too. Only men can. Why can't they both sing about it? It's not that big of a deal. That's why the song is so big. Because women like the song, it's a fun song. It's an empowering song to some women because you don't hear that all the time. Who cares? Not everybody wants to listen to Christian rap, okay? You are all disgusting. I, I genuinely believe when I said Hollywood is sat satanic, I believe that from the bottom of my heart because I cannot think of something good that has come out of Hollywood. Tell me, what is it? You go. go. Uh, I don't know, movies. Examine the lives of the people. You may think they have money. Examine their personal lives of those celebrities that you follow. Ask yourself a question. Do you think that person is happy? For everyone who keeps throwing me all of these rockers who wore dresses, okay, they were also all on drugs, right? <laughs> Look at Kurt Cobain uh, wearing this dress, Candace. Oh, he looked like a person that was very stable and uh, mentally healthy. Let me go try to live my life like that. Ahahaha, <laughs> wow. Yeah, you know who else was on drugs? People who didn't wear dresses too. So many celebrities do drugs, not just the ones who wear dresses. So like, your argument is invalid because you're trying to say the ones who wore dresses or feminine clothing were the mentally unstable who did drugs. Every other person in Hollywood does drugs too and they don't wear dresses. The most heterosexual men and women do drugs. 
And again, this isn't an attack on Harry Styles. He just happened to be the man in the dress on the cover of Vogue. I like his music, seems like a nice enough kid. I am talking about the fact that celebrities promote this stuff that in the end is toxic and harmful to establishments in this society, the biggest one being family. <laughs> so promoting gender nonconformity is destroying families. All right, okay. Yeah, yo, that's so accurate. Like, I can't, I just, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. Everything the left does and touches, everything that these Holly weirdos promote is about destroying basic values that work. A nuclear family. Maybe, just maybe, the celebrities and society is trying to break traditional views because like I said, we grow and we change. It's not 1920 anymore, okay? The women don't stay at home and take care of the children and cook and clean and do all that stuff. I mean, granted, that sometimes still happens. That's not the norm anymore, okay? That's when things change. Men don't wanna chop wood all day and hunt all day for food. They can go to the grocery store and buy the food at the grocery store and buy the wood at Home Depot. We don't live like that anymore. We don't have to live the traditional way anymore because that's not what life is about. Society created that. You don't have to live in that bubble. So that's what's happening. It's breaking because, you know, uh, the years keep going by and things change. But for some reason, you cannot comprehend that. A yin and a yang in the, in the household. Having a feminine and, and a masculine figure who raise solid kids with good values. Kids that don't believe in twerking when they're 13 years old on the internet. Kids that believe in, in that there is something bigger than themselves. Yeah, being raised by a single mother, you do not need to have a feminine and a masculine thing in your household. You don't have to have anything in your household. You just have to be raised by a good person or good people. You don't have to have certain energies around. I think that I'm a really, really good person because of my mom. I don't need two parents a masculine and a feminine to make me a good person. Do you know how many bad people were raised by proper parents? Again, her point is weak. It is so weak. And I, I, I wish this was more of a comedy, but it's just like, some people are just, you can't even be funny because it's so dumb. The strand of narcissism that we see going through, through Hollywood is so satanic. You wanna talk about narcissism? The narcissism in the White House is so satanic. I want to talk about narcissism in Hollywood. Your president was in Hollywood and all of that great stuff. And I'm so tired of society's attack on masculinity. Masculinity is sexy. Swing an axe, take care of your family, fish, hunt, shoot, do whatever it is that you do. You know, let the guys hang out with the guys. That stuff is not toxic. That stuff is is has been in this society in society for a very long time, you know, uh, since the beginning of humanity. Another straw man, my dude. Hanging out with the bros is not toxic. <laughs> the stuff that you do is toxic by limiting men to what they can do and what they can't do. Let men do what they want to do. Yeah, fellas, let's go out and swing some axes and chop some wood and kill some animals for no reason. Who's with me, boys? Anyway, sorry to make that not as funny as I planned. I just, I haven't watched Candace Owens like that ever. And when I saw this video, I was just like, wow. Wow, I I can't even be funny because there, I, there's not even any room to be funny. Basically, like I said in my last video, you guys can wear what you wanna wear. We're progressing as a society and as the earth and whatever. Like we don't live a hundred years ago. Life isn't like that anymore. Like I said, things change. And that's why, you know, celebrities and people in general are just breaking the norms because we don't have to live like that. Who says we have to live the way that is so traditional? Like history? Uh, well, that sucks because we're not history. We're right now, so it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, dude, so do what you want to do. Wear what you want to wear. If people want to bully you, it says more about them than it does about you. So I hope you guys like this video. And uh, I will see you in a few days with a new one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.